YouTube. Hey, I haven't done a video in a while on this. I have reconfigured my three largest watt panels to feed my grid tie inverters. I'm going with the uh, intention of feeding as much solar power to grid tie inverters to get my uh, meter, electric meter, going into my house to slow down. So I have, let's see, two 250 watt panels on top and the bottom one's 190. They're grape solar monocrystalline. So I've got, uh, I don't know, close to 700 watts going into grid tie inverters. Um, bring you inside. And again, these are really not the most efficient way to bring the grid tie to you know the house. I think that I'm going to break down and go ahead and buy the buy an outback inverter. But for now, I've got three panels coming into these cheap grid tie inverters, and I'm planning on pumping maybe another 400 watts into these. I've got four panels on order, so. Anyway, instead of the standby philosophy, um, probably do away with all these batteries. They're just not strong enough. Um, I probably will will get this uh, get some new batteries, maybe some 200 amp hour batteries, maybe four, four or six of them, and uh, have this power diverted when I want to charge the batteries or hook a battery charger up like I do, like I have now, and maybe focus more on uh, getting power into the grid uh anyway hope everybody's doing good thought i would do a real short video on reconfiguring my system and sorry that's blurry see you soon talk to you soon